call somewhere reading something about somebody born under a bad sign. I can't remember if it was a horror movie or something similar, but I do know it's the name of a Knight of Electric Blues violin and other stories coming up at the Duke of George. I love that name in East Fremantle. It's coming up, I think, from memory, a week on Thursday. I'm just having to scratch my head here for a moment because everything's going so damn fast. It's the 14th of March anyway. And we're joined in the studio. It's also going to play a bit of live music for us. Rupert Gunther. G'day, Chris. Thanks. Thank you very much for joining us. Born Under a Bad Sign. Am I correct that that is a, a, a song as well as perhaps a, a statement or a potential title for some horror movie? Yeah, it's probably all of the above, but it got pulled out, got lifted into a song, very, which turned out to be a very, very famous song. Um, it was a big hit for Albert King back in the 60s. Um, born under a bad sign. It's got that sort of sound about it though, doesn't it? The moment you hear a song with a title like that, the kind of music you play automatically lends itself to a song like that, doesn't it? Yeah, and I think that, you know, the, obviously it's an astrological term, you're born under the sign of whatever, you're born under a bad sign, a bad confluence. Oh, I was just about to say, what is a bad sign? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I think that, you know, it's kind of tongue-in-cheek because yeah. the blues, the blues story is always about the usually anyway about the confronting things and so I think that that's kind of like you know his story is of you know bad luck and trouble have been my only friends I've been on my own since I was 10 it's that yeah. sort of thing it's a kind of tongue-in-cheek play with it but it has that beautiful kind of strength and confront that the blues has that makes it very real what was it that gave you a love for the blues I think hearing uh, the Rolling Stones when I was 11 years old in 1973 at Kuyong Stadium in Melbourne. Yeah, that would probably do it. Yeah. The first rock band I ever saw yeah. live, and I was hanging around out the front with my mates on our push bikes, too young to go in normally, of course, and um, someone came out and said, look, my mate hasn't come, here's a ticket. <laughs> uh, do you think you would have still had the same love for the Blues had you not had the ticket? Was that ticket a defining moment for I you? I think it was, yeah. I think that was really a doorway into... You've got to remember that, that I came from a classical music background. Everyone in the family played classical music. Mum and Dad listened to classical music. Uh -huh. So that was me suddenly going to see these guys. I'd heard about three kids at school. And it completely uh, blew me away because the, the beautiful kind of... Um, strength that the blues has and the fact that these guys were playing mostly their own music that that afternoon i saw them so that was pretty inspiring for a young kid bearing in mind you kind of stepped out of the mold that was the music in the family did your mum and dad look at you and go what is that that you're listening to and i guess later what is that that you're trying to play yeah and it went further than that because um after that rolling stones concert i insisted on getting a, an electric guitar and because I hadn't really got into the violin as a rock instrument then I was still playing you know Claire de Lune and all these little classical tunes and um, the thing was um, dad very kindly bought me a cheap secondhand uh, electric guitar and uh, whenever anything went wrong in my life as a kid like not getting my homework done or anything mum would always say that was the worst thing you ever did was buying that electric guitar because she couldn't understand that music so it was all just it was all just noise a, a, another yeah. culture that she just couldn't um, couldn't relate with. Let's have a listen to the song. It's called "Born Under a Bad Sign." Sure. 